shouting matches, pushing and shoving, and the usual firearm shootouts between rivals are all part of the typical nationwide landscape in the village and youth polls. And the just ended one had its usual share, but not many, or strong enough for law enforcement and peacekeeping military to put under control. PTV's Jesse Atienza tells us more of how the day went in the Queen City of the South in this report. On the eve of the elections, a heated argument sparked between an individual and some residents in Barangay Lapat Balantay in the town of Tineg in Abra. The Philippine Army says a number of peacekeeping personnel have been deployed in the area. This morning, an individual fired a gun near the voting center. The suspect was immediately arrested by the authorities. Teachers assigned as poll workers backed out after the incident. The Provincial Joint Security Control Center immediately dispatched three PNP Special Electoral Boards as replacement. The Barangay and SK elections in Cordillera was generally peaceful according to the PNP. More than 10,000 registered senior citizens went out to cast their votes. The PRO Cordillera Regional Director conducted an inspection in the polling centers in Benguet and Baguio City to ensure an orderly and peaceful elections. In Cebu City, more than 600 persons deprived of liberty and senior citizens also took part in today's elections. A couple of mall voting centers also opened its doors to more than 4,000 voters in Cebu City and Consolacion. For the Comelec, this is a huge feat since it will be opening more mall voting centers to serve an even bigger voting population in the upcoming elections. From PTV Cebu, Jesse Atienza for The Nation.